Hey there ladies and cheese lovers, Spazzy here aka Syndrums, and before we start, don't forget that I'm doing an AMA, follow the link down in the video description to submit your questions, otherwise it's going to be a very, very boring and short video. Anyway, today we are going to do things and stuff in Avorian episode 13, and uh... I think the way that I'm going to start off today's episode is explain the reason why I actually disassembled the Scouty McScout face. Uh, first of all, the initial idea I think was the correct one. I had to create a sizable ship that could fit a few um, system upgrades and then use it as a physical scout that I would myself fly around and explore the next sectors in terms of the materials so I would actually get a chance to find their home system their home sector and then have access to their equipment terminal now uh, the problem with that is that as far as I can tell so let's see uh, neither one of these guys actually have in terms of reputation um, the, uh, we don't really have the ability to purchase anything from them. So this place, if I would go here with Scouty McScoutface, even if I myself would pilot it, then it would kind of be limited to, you know, first of all, we would have to increase our reputation. Then we would have to uh, explore the sectors around and uh, claim some asteroids, sell them to the highest bidder. Well, not the highest bidder. In, t in, this, in this case, I would say we would have to go for the church because, one, their reputation with us is actually better than the uh, these guys. And secondly, they seem to be at war with the whatever syndicate it was. Now, at this point in time, I don't know if I should be at war with a syndicate, but considering they were the reason we lost... Oh wow, what is this? Hello? We just picked up an instant little mining system. But yeah, uh, but considering that I don't know whether or not, you know, I should be hostile to them, I don't know what to do. So, my problem here is that the whole idea behind a scout ship was to quickly go there once every five episodes and basically improve our current ship by importing things from the next sector that is only limited to systems and guns. I cannot actually, you know, use anything else. But yeah, uh, that's just not going to happen right now. Now then, there is a thing also that I really wanted to do, and it involves this part of this territory. I already said that I really wanted to make a station, and, well, I was going to create one. The reason why I decided to actually disassemble the Scouty McScout face is because I don't remember how many ships I can have until the starting block for the next one has to be created from Neonite. And I have a very big suspicion that this might be the case. So today I am actually going to create that uh, factory that I really wanted to make. And after that I'm going to also create the replacement for Scouty McScoutface and see whether or not that's actually possible. And so with that in mind, let's take a look. We do have a shipyard over here, and so what I'm just going to do is, is um, well, first of all, it looks like I cannot do that while sitting in uh, the Indecisive, so let me just... There we go. Now, the reason I'm not doing it myself is because I also want to do something with Jerry the Junker. So... This was something that you guys pointed out to me, and honestly, I completely forgot about this mechanic, or that it even existed in the first place, so, you know, it's not really that I forgot, I just didn't even catch that. But I do remember very distinctly that I had a situation where I had a ship with both salvagers and regular guns, and for some reason, 
if I would tell it to salvage, it would actually use the guns as well as the salvage lasers. And apparently, there is a reason for that. So, this comes mostly from the, um... Well, okay, let it do its thing. So, this information comes from the current Vikia site, and it says that if I wanted to get more resources out of salvage, which, again, we do not, uh, I need to use the salvage lasers. If I shoot Rex with guns, however, it has a much higher chance of dropping systems and guns. And so, that is in fact the um, change that I want to make to Jerry the Junker. Now, in order to do that, however, I will actually have to go over here, because, um, reasons. Again, uh, the salvage turrets counts as civilian guns, so we are pretty much will have to completely redo Jerry the Junker. So, uh, yeah, that is something to keep in mind. Honestly, I would really like to take off both of these unarmed upgrades, because, well, yeah. So, let's take a look. I think that this would actually be one of those moments where using some of these unarmed or un, um, armed slash unarmed turrets would actually be proficient, because, hey, there's probably going to be moments where I will want to make sure that this thing can both salvage and you know, shoot, so, uh, equipment dealer, let's take a look, tempting damnation beta is where we have to go, and we are going to do exactly that, so give me just a moment. You know, I always found it kind of strange that you can only take off safely, you can only take off uh, the uh, system upgrades at a equipment dock, but not, say, at a shipyard. It kind of seems counterintuitive, don't you agree? Anyway, that is exactly why I want to be here, though, so what I'm going to do is remove those two turrets, and instead, we're going to use this one, which is a armed slash unarmed system. And I'm also going to very quickly check if there is, in fact, one for sale. Now, there is also one more reason why I'm doing this right now. And that is simply because in the event where this does not work for some reason, where it just does not work, I won't have to go back and rechange those systems again. This this ship in general is currently de uh, generating enough where I can just leave these systems on without any you know problems, and it looks like we do not in fact have a spare. Unarmed, unarmed, armed or unarmed. Armed. Okay, so this one is going to go up. What is this? Exanian mining turret that a, a, a mining system that uses 1.28 gigawatts. Ooh. Big. But also not what we are looking for. Right, so the current idea is that since I myself am currently switching to bolters. I can, in fact, have this thing have simply right, uh, just the, you know, regular chain guns. And that is exactly what I'm going to do here. So, Jerry is instead going to be a pretty freaking powerful ship in terms of just raw DPS. Also, that's kind of strange. Iron Edge crew quarters. Okay. Uh, that is easily enough fixable. There we go. There we go. Much better. Uh, how many of these can I even... Oh, there we go. So, and now, I think we have more 
miners than we possibly need. And what we're currently lacking are gunners. So let's very quickly fix that. He said. Okay, there we go. Slightly not enough crew quarters, but that is completely fine. That is something we can fix very quickly, considering we are currently here. Oh dear. You know, it's kind of strange. I'm pressing W and S, but it's not giving me a chance to change my width. Okay, there we go. That should be enough. No, apparently that's not. Okay, um, do we have our auto assign? Yes, yes we do. So I guess, first of all, we want one of these, and then we probably want some of those. Okay, there we go. So, uh, funnily enough, Jerry the Junker currently has more Omicron than the Indecisive. And isn't that a strange little um, thing? So, let's go back to Titanium Tempest. And from there, we're going to return to that salvage system and see if what we just did actually paid off. Or, if I'm completely remembering this incorrectly and the ship is not even going to open fire on the salvageable things. Okay, uh, so we are currently back. The first thing that I'm going to do is, in fact, increase, well, max out our remaining time here. That's one thing. And secondly, I'm going to just, for the heck of it, just try shooting one of these manually. You know, it's very strange that these ships appear in such a manner. Because it kind of looks like the ships themselves were spawned in, made disabled, and then had a fixed percentage of good things removed from them. Or at least that's how it feels like. Because take a look, all of these parts are floating freeform, but it's kind of apparent that they're arranged in a way that as if they're being held together by invisible blocks. So it's... I don't really like the fact that it looks that way. Yeah, okay, this thing is just going to mulch everything here. If it knows Okay, it's doing something. Oh dear. Okay, we have to look at this. Salvage lasers actually have a much, much smaller range than these things. And so one of my biggest fears right now is that Jerry is going to, quote, salvage things. But it's not going to be in any way capable of actually picking up anything that drops from it. So let's take a look. Well, it didn't. Cer it certainly didn't uh, take those two um, credits.
Okay, so that thing just dropped something. And there we go. A tech level 8 defense turret. Now, I'm not exactly sure if Jerry specifically just went for that turret to pick it up. Or did it go for something completely different? Because I remember I was really ranting about something in that, for some reason, the salvage command seems to prioritize picking up stuff like credits or, you know, scrap, but not free-floating things like this. So my question is, is Jerry going to actually pick that thing up? Okay, see? Three things currently floating in space. Remember, they, they are on a timer. They are going to disappear after, I think it's like a minute, maybe? So, what is Jerry going for? Well, I mean, right now it looks like it's working. To an extent. I think this is going to work. I think this is actually going to work. Because the whole point of Jerry right now is that I don't care about the, um, you know, stuff that it can salvage in terms of material. I have three mining ships for that. I don't need the material. I need the systems and the weapons. And by the way, you'll notice that I'm not actually selling the old and outdated weapons. But there is a reason why I'm holding on to them. And that is because I do want to use the uh, research station. And the research station is going to require a lot of these low-tier, low-level stuffs that we can just, you know, make use of. Holy hell, look at the amount of just systems this thing is dropping. But yes, it looks like they have fixed it. They have finally fixed it where, yeah, it's definitely going for those systems. Yeah. Okay. I am... Perfectly satisfied. Where's the indecisive? Hello. Yeah. I think that Jerry is going to be in perfect shape. I think that Jerry has found... Uh, we have finished the salvage ship. In its current state, Jerry is completely fine. Oh, hello. Uh, you picked the wrong house, fool. So there's certainly a thing to be said about these bolter turrets. Oh dear. And that is uh, simply the fact that, hey, I probably want to have some of these be... Oh, I just got uh, 41,000 credits for that. But yeah, I definitely want some of these to be automated. Because, let's face it, I'm not good at the whole shoot thing. Nice. And the fact that I'm gaining some reputation with these guys is certainly a good thing. Alright, uh, so... The reason why I'm here is because we have a shipyard here. I'd really like to very quickly just pick these up just in case. So yeah, uh, shipyard. Now then... Let's take a look. So this was the place that I really wanted to kind of build my station in. And the reason for that is actually very simple. 
I'm going to very quickly double check this because I'm not exactly sure if I'm correct or not. But one of the cheapest things that we can make is, in fact, a solar generator, solar farm. And basically produce energy cells. Now, if I am not mistaken, most of these factories... Cell to factory. Um, Anti-grav conductors, metal plates, plasma units, power... Plasma cells, power units. This is not it, actually. Okay, let's take a look at here. Targeting system factory. Uh, cell to factor. Energy cells. Yeah, here we go. So, I want to create it here because most of these things actually do buy energy cells. So, with that in mind, let's go back and actually create our first... Um, station. Now the thing is, I have never really done stations, except for that one Let's Play where we had to, like one of the rules was to establish our own uh, sector, so to speak. But, um, yeah. I think what's gonna happen is, first of all, you, your orders is going to be salvaging. So it's gonna be the same as Jerry, this thing doesn't have salvage turrets, but it has bolters, which means that he can easily just, you know, get all the stuff that we want. But, as for the shipyard, the one thing that is kind of strange about this is that we actually need to create the ship through the shipyard, because it has to have the station founder um, setting. And so... Which one of these looks like a station? I would say this really looks like a station. So... Let's increase its volume just a little bit. Yeah, I think this is gonna be fine. So we're dealing with... Uh, can we bump it up? Oh, there we go. 5,000 units of titanium, 26,000 units of iron, and everything's fine. I guess we do not need a captain, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, I like this one. So, how to name the station? Okay, let's go for... Let's go for Solar Farm 1, because I am completely lacking in inspiration for names right now. As you might have already guessed from the ship, De Indecisive. So what do we have here? Armed or unarmed? That's cool. Another armed or unarmed? That is also cool, I guess. Really, right now we're just waiting for that thing to finish building our ship, so uh, let's take a look at our inventory and sort by... Not by material, by type, no. Rarity, there we go. Well, actually, no, let's take a look at material. So we have titanium. And... Literally everything else is just iron. What is this? Ghost Injector. Security level 4. Hacking range 2. Detection range 4. Can hack to containers up to level 4. And silent hacking up to level 2. Highlights hackable containers in a radius of 4.33. Now, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, first of all, let's we'll just very quickly repair. Uh, it's it's mostly the lights that keep breaking off. Now then, where is it? So this thing can silent hack 
I would say this is worse. Yeah. Code injector. Wait. Ghost injector. Code injector. Security level three. Four. I think it is in fact the same thing. It's just that the one that I have is actually better. Well, I don't think that it really matters, so I guess I'll just... I know I just destroyed the old one, but, you know, it's not like I'm going to be using it. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, deep scanner range... Flight recorders and wreckages. That's interesting. I'm actually tempted to install that. Interesting. So, trying equipment. What do we have here? You know what? Four. Just a while, I'm actually going to remove this thing. Although, no, that's the only thing that keeps our recharge energy at tolerable levels. 5k t required to unlock. Okay, show me. Just for a moment. So, where's our, um... 3.55. So we would need to build the ship up a little bit for it to actually be able to do that. I think it's possible. I think it's even more than possible, really. Oh, but I really want it now. Maybe I should just remove this for a while. Okay, you know what? While that thing is currently building our ship... Wait, what? I'm sure you'll be fine. So, I'm gonna install this. And let's, for just a moment, explore this next system, just for the moment. I don't think it actually highlights the items. I think that was uh, mostly for things that were of a higher, a higher level. But yeah, let's take a look real quick. That's interesting. Valuable items detected. I like how I jumped into the system and I instantly am facing one of the claimable asteroids. So yeah. No shite, Sherlock. Well, let's just... Claim that, cell asteroid cell. So this thing is still... Oh, see? And now I know that this system does not have anything else anymore. Right? That was the only thing. There are no stashes, no nothing. Simply because this thing is not flashing anymore, right? Okay, so let's very quickly check the next one. We're still waiting for that ship to finish, so we might as well. This might actually be a good permanent system, because then I'm not wasting my time trying to zoom out and look through every single field. If I already know that, hey, 
Um, you know, there's nothing here. I, I should stop doing that. Well, valuable objects detected indeed. But what could it be? I guess we'll just have to, um... Have to ask these nice people. Oh no! So there's still valuable things here. So today's episode is probably going to be just a little bit longer than usual. Simply because I do want to create that station. Oh, actually, Solar Farm is here. So, uh, hey. You might as well move there. And just like that, he is, in fact, gone. Alright, so, uh, we do have valuable items here. I think that might be it. But the cool thing now is that I don't have to guess. I can just claim that thing. And the game, or rather the um, upgrade, is going to instantly tell me whether or not that's the case. So the idea is that this place might have secret stashes, or... Ow. 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 Bumper calls. It's a really good thing that I usually make these ships with actual armor. Okay, there we go. And yeah, as you can see, that is the only thing that was here. I don't have to guess anymore. So this is legitimately a very good up upgrade. It's just that it sacrifices the um, container hacky thing, which is not really good. But in practice, I think that what's going to happen is we are going to upgrade the ship probably in the next episode. I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is a uh, Sunday for me, so I can easily do that. And after I do that, we can just, you know, mount this thing. Oh, hello, I see something interesting here. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Turrets. Okay, so, you. Go salvage. Yeah, see, that's the only thing I really don't like. Uh, the Indecisive is currently opening fire on the wreck, but there are two floating systems or turrets over there that it would be really good if he would actually go and pick up. Although maybe it's simply because it, it wasn't him that destroyed them. So not really sure how that works. Anyway, let's not waste our time. Because we're already like four minutes over the uh, 30 minute mark that I usually want to make these um, make these videos at. So uh, let's just do that. Okay, there we go. Uh, first of all, don't worry about that. Oh dear. So this thing actually did not come with a reconstruction token. Which I actually cannot leave hanging. Wait. Yeah, the only repair dock is back over there. Ah. This is actually stupid.
Yeah, sadly, I can't really leave it like that. Or can I? This is a protected enough system, right? I know I'm in a hurry. Down station. Let's take a look. Oh dear. Basic factories, low tech factories, advanced and high tech. Ah, oh, this is terrible. Wait, this is 8 million, right? It's not like... Yeah. So, needs to say, we are just... slightly lacking in, ter <laughs> in terms of uh, funding. For some reason I thought it was very basic. But, no. Okay, lesson learned. Well, at least the solar farm is actually going to, you know, get that reconstruction token, but eh. I'm kind of sad, honestly. I should have probably predicted it, obviously. Uh, but here you go. All right, so before I forget, Let's actually do it. We're going to buy that reconstruction token. And for now, I guess this thing is just going to chill here for a bit. Because there's nothing else I can really do with it. Unless... We want to turn this thing into that scout ship. Okay, so first of all... Yeah, see? I was right. 500 Neonite is what I would need for the next ship. So there's no way around it. Like, this thing is going to have to be our exploration ship. So this is going to be our new scouting uh, scout phase. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's completely ready for that. All it needs now is a couple of upgrades for stuff like actually detecting the sectors, for example. We could probably transfer the um, object detector from... from the indecisive. Yeah. I think that is exactly what we're going to do. All right, ladies and gents, I'm going to stop here today. The only one thing I really want to do though is where is that? Oh, there it is. So the one thing I'm really going to quickly do is remove the object detector, and I'm going to put it on the replacement of Scouting McScout face, which I, in reflection, I should probably actually rename. Station Founder. Set Icon, Rename. <laughs> Scouting McScout Phase 2. There we go. Much better. So yeah. The one thing I really wanted to do here is to remove the object detector. Uh, no. There we go. So, th out goes that. And in goes this. Technically speaking, I probably want to put that thing on Scouty as well. But there's plenty of other things I want to put it on. And actually, do we have anything for scouting? Okay. Radar. That's always good. Not exactly what we're looking for, though. 
So, equipment docks. We'll have to peruse those and build up Scouting McScout Face and actually do it justice. The ones that I'm looking for is upgrades to the hyperdrive, uh, upgrades that is uh, the what's his face the um, velocity bypass system, so that I can you know run away from things. But all of that we're gonna do in the next episode. Anyway, 40 minutes in, this is long enough. Spazzy here, aka Syndrums, fly safe, don't forget about the EMA, and I'll see you in the next video.